Happy Monday. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. There's a lot going on today. We're following from the pandemic to the economy. That's right, Pedro. Happy Monday to you. It is windy out there, if you didn't notice, and we'll get to that in just a bit. But first, a potential new weapon in the war against COVID-19. Drug giant Merck just applied for emergency use authorization from the FDA for its experimental new antiviral drug. It is a pill, and if approved, it will be the first oral treatment to fight COVID for mild and moderate cases. In studies, it cuts, they say that it cut the risk of hospitalization um, and death in half. And doctors also say the capsule is a game changer, much easier to give patients than the current IV drugs. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't get vaccinated. And we've seen this before, right? Take a look here. Some retailers, they say Walmart and Costco are once again limiting how much toilet paper and other items that you're able to buy over a nationwide shortage. We don't want that again. <laughs> it's a result of that cargo ship backup at the ports of L.A. and Los in uh, Long Beach. There's still dozens of ship out there waiting to dock and unload. But with Black Friday fast approaching, it could wreak havoc on that holiday shopping season. So do it earlier than later. I wonder if that's going to be a problem. It looks like it might be. Okay, well, can you feel the Dodger fever? You have Dodger fe uh, fever. Uh, blue is in my blood. Right I know. I, I ran out of blue dresses, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we are just hours away from the boys in blue taking the field at Dodger Stadium for game three of the NLDS versus the Giants, the hated ones. Uh, the teams are tied one to one. I think the Dodgers got this at home. At home. All the momentum is there in yes. their favor. And then like one more tomorrow at home. Yes. Right? And then you go on the road, you just got to win one more after that. So I think if they can do well these next two games, there they go, go all the way. From opinion. your mouth to God's ears. There it is. All right. <laughs> Empty bins fill the baggage claim. This has been a real frustration point for a lot of travelers. Frustrated Southwest passengers face another miserable round of cancellations and delays. The airline did cancel hundreds of additional flights today after a weekend of major disruptions that left thousands of passengers stranded. KTLA's Kimberly Chang is live at LAX with more on the third straight day of cancellations. Kimberly, what are you hearing from passengers that you can say on TV? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, <laughs> there were a lot of frustrated passengers again today. Six flights were canceled, dozens delayed just here at LAX today, according to FlightAware. 